Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is another in a series of A to Z videos. This video being the letter M. And, uh, crap, I got a lot of M's here. So we're going to start right now, okay? Um, Maze Runner, this is a double feature set. This is the first two Maze Runner films. And it was well worth getting. I just wanted the Blu-ray. If you buy the triple pack with all three movies in it, come with the DVD. Also, why do I need the DVDs? Uh, this one, Maze Runner, um, Death Cure. I didn't see this one yet. I only seen the first, I think. But, um, yeah, this one comes with a comic inside. It's well worth getting. And, uh, yeah, pretty good comic. And, uh, it's got the DVD Blu-ray, so it's well worth getting. I think I got this on Black Friday on Amazon. Um, get some Marx Brothers stuff. This is a Marx Brothers box set. Uh, this has the restored version of Animal Crackers on it that um, features new, uh, newly discovered footage that was cut out for editing back in the day because it was too, the jokes were too risque and stuff like that. So they found, I guess, a print either in the UK or Australia. And yeah, this is the set. It's well worth getting. I think this is in the UK too. You can actually buy it. And it's got the, these are all Paramount movies. Not that long. You got the coconuts. You got animal crackers. The uh, you know, um, monkey business, horse feathers, and duck soup. All great Paramount releases. And then you see the posters on the back. And um, there you go. So that was a... Um, it's a really good set if you're a Marx Brothers fan. Um, oh, wait. Also comes with this little booklet about the Marx Brothers. And um, yeah. So if you're a Marx Brothers fan, I highly recommend uh, this Universal set if I can close it. And... Um, Check it out. The DVD set that looks like this, not the same. It doesn't have the restored version of Duck Soup on it or anything. So, uh, yeah, watch out for that. It's only on the Blu-ray. And uh, next, another Marx Brothers movie, uh, Love Happy. It's from Olive Films. This is going up in price. So, if you want it, if you want this movie, you have to actually look for it a little bit. I think they still have it on uh, HamiltonBook.com. So check out there. That's where I got my copy. Okay. Next. Let me slip out. This was something that was $9.99 Black Friday at Walmart. It's the Matrix, uh, the Ultimate Matrix Collection. Great box set. Everything strong box and it comes with a booklet of um, a lot of stuff in this booklet you know just to show some stuff in there and then the discs are in slim jewel cases you got the matrix matrix reloaded with all the same features that are on Singles. If you if you buy these singly, um, Matrix Revolution. Well, we won't talk about that because it sucked. Um, and the Animatrix, which this needs a blue, um, a Blu-ray, a 4K release. Uh, they released them all in 4K except for that one. And then there's a uh, the Matrix Experience, a two-disc um, bonus features. Why they did this, I don't know. One's a flipper disc with stuff in the front side and stuff in the back side. And this one is just, I guess, more bonus stuff. So, yeah, this set, if you find it still, it's well worth picking up um, for just a bonus disc alone and Animatrix. So, 
Yeah. Put that back in here. See, the only flaw about this set, it doesn't, they really are loose. So you have to watch it when you pick this up. Um, yeah. Got two big stacks here. Let's get started. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, also stars um, Vince Vaughn. Uh, my favorite, My Cousin Vinny. And Miss Marissa Tomei won for Best Supporting Actress in this movie. Or Best Actress. I don't... Wait a minute. No, Best Supporting Actress. Yes. 1992. Um, Max Payne Unrated. One of my favorite movies, Major League. Now, this movie is special to me because um, the fact, if you watch this movie, there was an old picture in it, and that old picture was going to be replaced by Charlie Sheen's character eventually. And there was a scene in there where um, he goes to the, um, I forgot his name. The, I don't know if he was Jamaican or African or whatever, but he had this statue of Jobu on it. And then the guy grabs the little rum out of it. He's like, up your butt, Jobu. And he drinks it. That guy I met many, many times when I, back in 93, when I used to work at a McDonald's. In Westchester, I met him many, many times because he lived in LaGrange, Illinois. So I always used to come that way for coffee or uh, Coke, just a drink. Sometimes he would come in McDonald's with his grandson and, and just, you know, you know, just eat there. Or even he would go into play plays and stuff like that. So his name is Chelsea Ross. Look him up. He does a lot of movies that are about you know, um, I want to say Chicago, but this one was in Chicago. This one was somewhere else. It was Cleveland. But the latest, the last movie I talked to him about a long time ago was Richie Rich. He was in Richie Rich, which was filmed in Cantigny in um, Wheaton, I want to say. It was Wheaton. Main Street. This is a Dollar Tree pickup. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, ah. The Marine 3 pack. Marine 1, 2, and 3. And then the Marine 4. I still want to get 5 and 6, which are not put out by 20th Century Fox. Well, 5 is, 6 is not. I don't know who puts that out, but they're all uh, WWE films. Yeah, all WWE films. The first one, in my opinion, is the best one out of them okay I don't care what you say about the guy I still think he's a great rock star and um, yeah the only way you could get this is in the UK it's all region is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker great flick Joe Pesci's in it um, that's the only other big star in here but it's just a weird bizarre movie and it works on many levels. It's even got discard. Here in America, never played at the theater. Played at the theater in Europe. And and it got a DVD release there. And then it got a Blu-ray release, obviously. And then here in America, all we got is the VHS release. Which was a real shame. And this was the first time that it was in widescreen. So... Yeah, the DVD was never in widescreen. Or the VHS, for that matter. Midnight Meat Train with... Um, was not this Bradley Cooper? Yeah, Bradley Cooper, Lisa Bibb. Or Leslie Bibb. And uh, Brooke Shields is in it. So, yeah, I gotta check this out soon. Horror movie. Really good. Uh, one of my favorites. Mall Rats. Terry... I don't know, uh, what was her name? Oh, Pr Priscilla Barnes from Three's Company is in this. And she played the, um, 
the topless um, the topless fortune teller with the crystal ball. She had three. Oh, I'm just gonna say it. Three tits, and greatest scene in the movie, and of course, uh, the scene with um, with uh, Stanley, of course, and Michael Rooker's in this movie. Young Michael Rooker. So this is a great movie, Kevin Smith, and there's actually two versions: the actual and extended. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but it's good. Um, Masterminds. Seen parts of this movie on cable, and then I kind of sort of lost interest. I'm going to have to revisit it. Yeah. I think this is... Yeah, it's inspired by true story, so it's a bunch of idiots trying to rob. Uh, it's an underrated film, I think. Meet Dave. It's got a great cast in here. You got... Uh, was it Kevin Hart is in here? Gabrielle uh, Union, uh, Ed Helms is in this, early Ed Helms, Elizabeth Banks, and uh, what it is is just, Eddie Murphy is like a spaceship, it looks like a human, and all the other people are the actual um, aliens that are in him, making him run right, so this, this is a fun movie, you know, if you haven't seen it yet. And it's also, oh, it's one's region a locked, but it's on other, it's on other countries. This one got it at the um, last Dollar Tree sale. It is the Ministers, John Legrizano, and Harvey Keitel. Seemed interesting. Uh, it's from um, uh, Maya Entertainment. I actually bought something from this company before, and this one I think is all region, um, because the last one I bought uh, was all region, and there's no regions on here, so I think this is all region film. Look up on Blu-ray.com if um, if you want to make sure. A uh, good Bob Hope movie right here. There's nothing like a good Bob Hope movie. Bob Hope, Hedy Lamar. Um, my favorite spy, and uh, yeah, just it's great fun if you haven't seen it. It's from 1951, 93 minutes. Olive Films, grab those Olive Films while you can because I, I think they're slowly going out of print. A movie that Cinema Sickness re uh, kind of recommended. He's like, Oh, this is a great movie, this is a great movie. So I did check it out and on cable first, and it is good. It is uh, The Man Who Knew Too Little, a parody off of The Man Who Knew Too Much. Obviously, it's uh, Bill Murray. Who else is in this? Um, I don't see anybody else I remember or that I know of in here. But, uh, yeah, this is 20th Century Fox. And uh, this came out... This came out, um, I don't know, oh, 97, so, yeah, and it got a Blu-ray release in 2015, so, yeah, it's also on DVD if you want to see it. This one, absolutely good story, it's a slow burn, but it's well worth watching, it's a zombie movie, but a different kind of zombie movie, and no, I'm not talking about... That one with Nicholas Holt. No, I'm talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maggie um, with uh, Abigail Breslin. This is a, a type of zombie movie where if they get bit, it takes a long time for them to gradually turn into zombies. And, um, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is his or her father, and he doesn't want to kill her. So he just waits and waits and waits until the last minute where she's not herself anymore. She actually turns into a zombie. If you haven't seen this film, it's very, it's very dark, but very good. Um, and it's one of uh, Schwarzenegger's like mellow roles. There's maybe like one action scene where zombies come at him, but other than that, it's a Lions, it's a Lionsgate film, but well worth checking out. 
Monuments Men. This movie is so freaking good. And the cast alone, you got George Clooney, Matt Damon, Bill Murray, John Candy. John Candy. No, I wish. John Goodman. Uh, and then some other stars I haven't heard of before. And Kate Blanchett. These are a bunch of, um, a bunch of, you know, people that, um, were not actually soldiers. They were, uh, more like, uh, treasure hunters and trying to get back, um, trying to get back the artwork that, um, the Nazis stole. And they got a bunch back. And there is still a lot missing. Um, this is a true story. And it's it's just great. It's um, not that long a movie. It's two hours. And it came out in... When the hell did this come out again? It doesn't say. Or I can't say. 2014. But it's an excellent movie if you haven't watched it. Great underrated um, war movie, I guess. These two movies are not listed under my Disney because they're not Disney movies. They are owned by Columbia TriStar. And this one's a TriStar movie. It's Muppets Take Manhattan. I remember back in the day when my parents took me to see this movie. It was great at the theater. Actually, I seen most of them at the theater up until a certain point. And, uh, yeah, I'm that old. All right? Um, you got uh, special appearances, like always. Um, Dabney Coleman, Gregory Hines, rest in peace, uh, Joan Rivers, Art Carney, James Coco, rest in peace, and, um, yeah, there is, uh, the voices of Jim Henson, Frank Oz, so, yeah, this is all region, in case you're wondering, you want to look for it, it's all region, it's rated G, great Muppet movie. This one, not so much. This one I only seen once. Muppets from Space. Not that great of a movie, but uh, it's still worth worth the watch. It's all region. It is um, rated G. It's got people. It's got Frank Oz. I did Frank Oz, Jeffrey Tamborn, F. Murray Abraham, David Arquette. Uh, Josh Charles, Hollywood Hulk Hogan at the time was Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Ray Liotta, Andy McDowell, and it's 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 pretty decent. It's got a good cast. So if you're looking for this one from Columbia, it's all region. Go get it. Not a big Steven Seagal fan, but when it's for a dollar, I'll pick it up. And that was uh. Oh, I forgot to even say the name on it. It was uh, Mercy, uh, Mercenary for Justice. This one's out of print right now. It'll probably get a Kino release. My boyfriend's back, and uh, this 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 is a funny movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It might be on some streaming service, but right now it's out of print. You might be able to find it on like Amazon, eBay for a good price. Yeah. Um, parody movie that I found at uh, Big Lots. Meet the Spartans. Uh, the unrated Pit of Death edition. Um, Carmen Electra is like the only one that I noticed in this movie that I actually know. So. Yeah, it's a parody movie. Uh, this one I wanted to get on 4K, but I didn't. Uh, the Mountain Between Us. The trailer looked awesome. I didn't get a chance to see it yet. Oh, I take that back. No, I was watching this on cable for like half of it. And then it was too late and I had to go to bed. But uh, this is really decent movie. I just got to finish watching it. Another Dollar Tree pickup, of course, a lot of Dollar Tree pickups here. This is, um, who is in here? It is uh, Ron Perlman and Rupert Gritz. 
of uh, Harry Potter fame. It is Moonwalker, Moonwalkers, and uh, it's supposed to be based on a true, uh, true conspiracy theory thing. So I don't know if that's a joke or what. I didn't get a chance to see it yet, but uh, yeah, if it has Rupert Grit in it, I'm, I'm sold. Ron Perlman too, I like him. Marley and Me. I still haven't watched it because I I love dog movies, but I hate sad endings. So I gotta work myself up for that. Uh, and of course, Marley and Me, the Puppy Years. Uh, different cast though, but um, yeah. Uh, let's do the Men in Black series here. Men in Black, Men in Black Two, and Men in Black Three. There you go. I was thinking about getting this in a small set, but eh, I have them all. Why not? Just keep them. All right. Mike and Dave be wedding dates. I've only seen parts of this movie. It was actually pretty damn funny. Um, Zach Efron, um, Audrey Plaza, Adam Devine, and uh, Anna Kendrick. Really good. Uh, well, what I've seen of it. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. So another Dollar Tree pickup here. <laughs> Gerard Butler, uh, Machine, Machine Gun Preacher. Apparently, it's based on a remarkable true story, with a little uh, theatrical drama thrown in. Let me push these all up because I got another big stack here, and then after this big stack, I have one more stack. It's a lot of M's, baby. Uh, seen this a long time ago. But I finally recently got this on Blu-ray. The Marrying Man with um, Alec Baldwin, Kim Basinger, and uh, does it, oh, Robert Loja. Robert Loja, yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Shue, Paul Reiser, uh, Fisher Stevens. If you don't know who Fisher Stevens is, he played the Indian guy in um, the... Um, what do you call it? the, uh, what was that movie with Johnny Five, um, Short Circuit, which today, they shouldn't do that anymore, but, uh, yeah, he was funny in that movie, and, uh, the rest of the cast I don't recognize, alright, but The Marrying Man, well worth checking out. One or Nothing, it's another, uh, pickup from, uh, eBay. Trying to get all of the uh, Hollywood and Touchdown movies. This one happens to be from Mill Creek. There is a Kino one out. Um, but the this version, all region. Just like the Merry Man, all region. Because Mill Creek, for some reason, makes them all region, but only puts the A locked on there. I don't know why. Another movie, this is like my first real um, uh, Mill Creek release. And uh, it is Mr. Wrong with Ellen DeGeneres and Bill Pullman. It's actually pretty damn funny. Um, the 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 transfer on here could have been a little bit better, but I mean this is out of print now. It's not even on Kino yet, but it is a Touchstone movie, and it is all region. So yeah, if you find it, check it out. Uh, this one, I don't want to butcher, but I got it from the Dollar Tree. Looked interesting. And uh, my wife picked it up. She's like, yeah, let's try it. And I'm like, I don't know. Because it'll probably be a desk collector. Uh, another movie that people really can't stand. There's a lot of plastic on here. A lot, a lot of movie can't stand this movie, but I just wanted to see how bad it was. And that is movie 43. It's got a whole bunch of good stars in this movie. But for some reason, it just did not work. And uh, this is from 20th Century Fox. And um, what year did this come out? It's a two disc set. It's Blu ray DVD. It came out in 2013. It's only 94 minutes. So at least 94 minutes, it's bearable. Rated R. 
This one is a double feature from Mill Creek. Uh, and then after I bought this, Kino put them both out. But um, this is all region as well. It's The Crew with Rest in Peace, Burt Reynolds. And uh, yeah, Burt Reynolds, Richard Dreyfus. The other two people, I don't know. Uh, and then Mafia, which is a parody movie, kind of like uh, the Naked Gun parody movies. It's got Jay Moore, Lloyd Bridges, Olympia Dugakis, and Christina Applegate. And uh, Lloyd Bridges and Olympia Dukakis, rest in peace, because they're gone. So, yeah, these two movies, this one I've seen, this one I didn't see yet. But they're both comedies, and it's all raging. So. Or you can get them on Kino. This one was sent to me by Kermit's Ghost. He got, uh, I guess, another copy of this somehow, and a better copy. This is the German-based comedy, copy, copy. Co the German copy, and it's from Universal. It's B Region, and um, it's um, John Goodman matinee, which all the extras are written in uh, in German, so I can't actually read them. But uh, yeah, just to have the movie, I seen it once on cable, and I forgot everything about it. So yeah. This was a, I think, Spain release. It's all region. Not that great of quality, but it's good. Uh, it is Mosquito Coast. Um, Harrison Ford is in this. River Phoenix. It's great to see them working together. Because they were in a movie together. Last Crusade, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. But they didn't work together. They're both separate things. So, yeah, this movie, if you haven't seen it, excellent um, Harrison Ford movie. He's kind of a douchebag in it, but, you know, it's just one of those things. He's obsessed with living and making ice for these people that live in uh, the rainforests and stuff. There's a, a semi-new one, and it got uh, rave reviews from Roger Ebert. And that is Moscow and Hudson. Didn't pay... Big bucks for this. I only paid twenty eight dollars, which it's going for way more than that now. It's a Twilight Time release. It's also on Mill Creek, uh, but it's on the Mill Creek DVD. Um, this came out in nineteen eighty four, and uh, it's rated R. It's one hundred eighteen minutes. Robin Williams. I've seen it. It's not one of my favorite movies from him, but I had to have it for the Robin Williams collection. This one, if you are, um, if you are those people that are hashtag a hundred of a hundred, then you'll love this movie. It's me before you. She falls in love with a man that's in a wheelchair, pretty much, and she takes care of him and stuff, and yeah. It's, it's a tearjerker in some places, but um, I recommend it. Really do. Um, this is another new one that I got from, uh, uh, what was it, Family Video. It's uh, Clint Eastwood, The Mule. Didn't want to spend that much money on it because I, I didn't know if I was going to like it or hate it. But um, we'll see. It's uh, 116 minutes. It is based on a... It's inspired by true events. Uh, favorite movie of mine, but I really wish they would have put the TV version on here like they do on some Shout Factory releases, but they didn't. It is Murder by Death. The TV version has extended scenes on it, and um, this one does not. It's just a regular theatrical cut, and it is... Uh, from 1976. This movie is great. It's awesome. It's just like the movie Clue in in, in, in a way. And it's got um, uh, Truman Capote in one of his rare film roles. Uh, Peter Falk, Alan Guinness, and David Nivens in it, Peter Sellers, Maggie Smith. It It's just a really great movie. Great cast. I highly recommend Murder by Death. 
Let's put out by Columbia, but Shout Factory distributes it. Uh, great film. This was originally in 3D, but they did not release it in 3D, which is kind of weird. This is an Aleph Films release, and it was not on the Paramount Pictures um, collection for D. Martin and Jerry Lewis. It is uh, Money From Home. This is one of those movies that had a copyright issue because um, this is a Demon Runyon film. And at the time, the family was fighting for rights to get more money and blah, blah, blah. This movie and a Abbott Costello movie, I forgot the name of that one, but those two movies were having copyright issues. And, uh, well, they finally got it resolved and money from home came out if they would have put this on 3d it would have been better but um for people that never seen it originally it is uh from 1953 it's 100 minutes it is in color and uh you might be able to find this on amazon still um i don't know but it is a it's one of their best um so a recent pickup from uh, Dollar Tree, mostly ghostly. Didn't any? I didn't know anything about this. It's R.L. Stein, so I'm like, how can it be? Any? How can it be bad if it's an R.L. Stein? And um, it's got uh, Bella Thorne in it, so it's the only name I recognize. And it's it's, it's a PG rated movie. It's an hour and thirty one minutes. But I never seen this at the theater. It's under Universal. There's the disc. I love the green on this disc. It's awesome. That's the DVD. This is the Blu-ray. But if you look on these, they're not rated. But for some reason on the back, they got a rating. So either the disc came out first and that was a second add or it was the last add-on. I don't know. What's the ghostly? Another Mill Creek um, release from Hollywood Pictures. It is Miami Rhapsody. This is now on um, Kino, but it's a double double set. Uh, I forgot what the other movie was, but you can still get this. This is like not that much money. And it's got, uh, who's in here? Antonio Banderas. Mia Farrow, Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, Kevin Pollack. So, really good cast. PG-13. Uh, Steven Spielberg produced, executive produced movie, Memories of a Geisha. I've seen this movie. It is, it is t beautiful. Um, beautifully shot. Um... It's from a Blaine Entertainment, DreamWorks Pictures, Spygrass Entertainment, and Columbia Pictures. So there's a lot going in here. A lot of companies. This is all region, in case you're wondering. But it is well worth checking out. Uh, this one was my wife's pick again. The Men Who Stare at Goats. Didn't get a chance to watch it. But... Um, wasn't this? I don't remember why we got this, but it is a George Clooney, Jeff Bridges, Ian McGregor, Kevin Spacey, and the Goat. So, yeah, decent, uh, decent movie to check out. Mad Max: Fury Road, great picture. There's nothing else to say about this movie. It was actually damn good. The Mummy with Tom Cruise. Got this for a really good price off of Cinema Sickness. But I haven't checked it out yet because I heard bad things about it. This is the um, it's an older version, but it's the Mummy Trilogy uh, with all three Mummy movies on here. The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, The Mummy Tomb. Of the Dragon Emperor, which the last, the third one is not really that great. And, uh, yeah, I got this pack. It's, they all came out on blue, oh no, 
4K re recently, I think. So I might just keep this. I don't know if I want to upgrade to 4K. Mayhem with um, with uh, Steven Yeun and uh, some chick I didn't hear. I never heard of before. Um, it's kind of like the Belko experiment. So if you've seen the Belko experiment. Same damn storyline. <sighs> a movie I checked out on cable and I found it entertaining. I found it, I liked it. A lot of people gave it shit, but it's uh, Mordecai with uh, Johnny Depp, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Ian McGregor, and Olivia Mung. Yeah, Olivia Mung, baby. It's a good comedy. Now, this I want comments below. Uh, this is uh, The Martian. Haven't seen it yet. I'm kind of slow at this. But uh, should I try to get the extended cuts? It's on uh, 4K, I think the extended cut is. Or there's a Blu-ray with the extended cut on it. Or should I just stick with the theatrical version? Doesn't make a difference. Because sometimes extended cuts really don't make a difference. So, The Martian. With me again. Uh... Murder on the Orient Express. Great freaking cast there. Check it out. Uh, Daisy Ridley was hot in this movie. I don't know. Daisy Ridley's hot. Uh, one of my favorite movies from the 80s. 1983. Mr. Mom. Uh, in her artwork. Right there. And... Um, this is Region A Locked from uh, Shout Factory. Originally put out, distributed by MGM. Um, but uh, this copy, a uh, much better print than the DVD. So, And it never was in widescreen. This one is the first time in widescreen. It's got a feature of a look back at Mr. Mom with the producers and co-stars and blah, blah, blah. And uh, original theatrical trailer. So there's not much in here. But hey, it's what we're checking out. Uh, da, 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 da. This is A Million Ways to Die in the West. This is a... Um, I want to say this was directed by... Yes, directed by Seth MacFarlane. And I think he wrote it too. Yeah, wrote it too. So this movie is a comedy about the Wild West. Kind of like Blazing Saddles, but, you know, not as intelligent. But uh, there's a great scene with uh, Christopher Lloyd in it. He plays Doc Brown. And, uh, yeah, Liam Neeson's in this. Uh, who else is in this thing? Amanda Seinfeld. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, Sarah Silverman, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I've seen the R-rated version. I didn't see the unrated version yet. But if you're interested in this, check it out. It's hilarious. Uh, this was one of those... Uh, one of those Walmart uh, exclusive uh, slip covers for meatballs. And this was from Lionsgate. Didn't have the movie in my collection, so I figured... I'll get it, you know, and I'll have the the movie and the new slip. There you go. Uh, another movie I got from uh, Family Video for cheap. I didn't see it yet, but it came with the... No, actually, I bought the slip separate. Um, the Meg with uh, Jason Stateman. Uh, they said the 3D version of this is really good. So, I don't know. Um, another one that I got from a closing... Second and Charles is uh, the Magnificent Seven. I got this for a dirt cheap price, and uh, this is the uh, remake of um, the original Magnificent Seven. Are they gonna make the um, series? I don't know. I don't think so. But it's got um, uh, such people in here as uh, Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke. So those names alone. I want to check it out. Finally, in this stack, 
39 minutes we're going on. Finally, in this back, I uh, actually upgraded this. I got this from... I got this from my Instagram Instagrammer by the name of uh, Siri, Sarah's Films for Sale. And she had this for a dirt cheap price. So I decided to upgrade it to 4K. And it's Miss Peregrine's Home for, for Peculiar Children. This is a, directed by um, Tim Burton. Great freaking film. It had an opening at the end for a sequel. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't know. It did very well. But I uh, don't know if it's ever going to get a sequel. So if you haven't checked this one out. It's, it's very dark but very good. Okay last stack of M's. It's a long video because. For some reason, M movies come up a lot. So, I don't know. Let's start off with, uh, this is Roger Moore, Moon, <gasps> Moonraker. Seen this a long time ago. But, uh, as I said earlier, I want to try to get all the um, James Bond movies in their separate box sets from each, um, from each um, star. So, there you go with that. Uh, this one was actually sent to me from Alan of Kermit's Ghost Channel. He's a great guy. Gotta check him out. Um, this is Mutiny on the Bounty. This is the, um, the Marlon Brando version. He got the HMV exclusive, so he sent me this. And, uh, I don't remember if I've seen this or not. I might have seen it on TCM once. Um, yeah. I am looking to get the um, Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins version of it next. Uh, here's one that was not so funny, but it's worth checking out. Mr. Woodcock. And it's it's got Susan Sarandon in it. Um, uh, Amy Poehler. Of course, Billy Bob Thornton and Sean William Scott. It's, it's a decent movie. Um, it's, yeah, this is a rated version. I don't think there was an unrated version. Um, it's from New Line Cinema, which is owned by Warner Brothers, but it's a Region A lock for some strange odd reason. Next, everyone and their mother has this one, and it is Mrs. Doubtfire. This is more of the newer copy version because there's no other artwork on it but him. And uh, it comes. It came with a digital code. I sold it a long time ago. And uh, yeah, Robin Williams at his very best. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's deleted scenes, extended scenes, alternative scenes. So yeah, there is, there is some stuff with Robin Williams in here. And uh, it's a shame that we didn't get to see Mrs. Doubtfire 2. The script was done. Just Rob Williams passed away before they even get a chance to start. Uh, this one I did not see yet. But um, it got wrecked in a fire, so I had to rebuy it. And um, got it for a really good price, though, at Dollar General. It's Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium with... Uh, Natalie Portman, Dustin Hoffman, and uh, Jason Bateman. It's a G-rated film, so the whole family can enjoy it. Yeah. Next, one of my favorite Steve Martin movies with Rick Moranis, My Blue Heaven, from the Warner Archives collection. It's also got Joan Cusack in it. And that's all it's listed on here. But it's a great film if you haven't checked it out. Yeah, and yeah. There's artwork on here. My Blue Heaven. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce this. It's an Al Pacino movie. I got it at the Dollar Tree. It looked interesting. And I have time to check it out. It's Holly Hunter's in it. Uh, and a couple other people I don't recognize. So, yeah. Okay, next, I got this at Big Lots for a damn good price. I like $3. Brad Pitt Moneyball. 
This was the uh, special edition, I guess, from... It was either Walmart or Target. I don't remember. But it comes with a bonus disc. So it's a three-disc set. Money Ball on DVD, Money Ball on Blu-ray, and then the bonus disc, which is special edition. I could be wrong, but I think this was a bit Walmart exclusive. I think that case is. That was a good movie. Seen it on cable once. Don't really need to see it again, though. Uh, Major Pain. I haven't seen this in a long, long time. Damon Wayans. Uh, Universal. When Universal was releasing stuff to Walmart and Best Buy at $9.99 prices. Now they don't do that anymore. They list it for like $22 and their movies on demand on Amazon. And it sucks. Uh, another one that was, uh, I don't remember if this was a Walmart or Best Buy exclusive at the time. And then it went to other stores. The Money Pit. Hilarious movie. Uh, produced by Frank Marshall, Kathleen Kennedy. Um, executive produced by Steven Spielberg. Uh, do, 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 do. It's an Blaine Entertainment um, produced movie also. It's all those people and Universal. This, if you haven't seen it, hilarious movie about them buying a house. They find out later that the seller lied to them and it's just collapsing around them. And, um, boring. And, um, <clears throat> it's a Richard Benjamin film. Um, they find out it's collapsing around them and they get this contractor that keeps on <laughs> telling them, oh, it'll only take two weeks. It'll only take two weeks. Like six months later, it'll only take two weeks. And it's like, it's hilarious. Great Tom Hanks comedy. This one was also uh, imported from the UK because the one here on um, Shout Factory, same same transfer. This was Memoirs of Invisible Man. It's his um, John Carpenter movie, Chevy Chase, Daryl Hannah. In my opinion, not one of Chevy Chase's best, but the special effects in this, really good. And um, this was also uh, sent to me by Carmen's Ghost, because we did exchanges. This one I got off of uh, Amazon US, I think, but it's a it's a Australian import. If you're into McHale's Navy, then these two movies are well worth checking out. Now, I didn't know this, but um, this this is all region that I knew. But I did not know they made this in between seasons. Uh, but I don't know which two seasons. Uh, there was a McHale Navy's... McHale... Wait, what was the first one called? Uh, McHale Navy... The movie, I guess. And then McHale's... Navy joins the Air Force. Now, these two movies right here were made in between seasons. So, to understand the last, the second movie on here, you have to have watched the season before that, I guess. From, um, the, the, the show lasted from 1962 to 1966. The second movie is from 1965. So, yeah, um, I'm looking to get the whole entire series. Let it be on Blu-ray, let it be on DVD, so I can understand what happened. Because Ernest Borgnine is not in the um, the second movie. So I don't know if he was in the last season or not. But that was Mikhail's Navy in Australian import. But you could find probably in the UK, uh, Amazon UK or Amazon US. Me, myself, and Irene, everyone seen this pretty much, and it's a Fairly Brothers movie, pretty cool, funny, Jim Carrey at his best, split personality. Uh, this one I haven't seen yet, but I wanted to get it, because uh, one of my favorite actors is in here, Zero Marcel, and yeah, at the time, 
this was tolerable. Now today it would not. It would it would be um, uh, hated a lot from 1976, and it's um, Mastermind, and it's Zero Mar style playing, kind of like um, Charlie Chan type of a character. Uh, yeah, Zero Mustar was white, and he's playing a Asian character, so this would not fly today. So, I had to check it out, but I, I will. Alright, and if you're looking for this movie, My Favorite Brunette, with Bob Hope and Dorothy Moore, and you're sick of those crappy copies that are out there, and I had a ton of them, this one right here is the best copy. It even has the Paramount um, logo at the beginning restored and put back in, and the credits at the end and everything. It's 87 minutes, 1947. It's even got a cameo. I'm going to ruin it for you. It's even got a cameo from... Um, oh, crap. What was his name? Uh, Bing Crosby. It's got a cameo from Bing Crosby at the end of this movie. They actually did... This and each other's movies. They they either did cameos or they talked about each other when they were working for Paramount. So yeah, this version is mint, just crystal clear, and uh, yeah, no artwork, no nothing. But this movie is well worth getting if you're a Bob Hope fan. Next, again a movie uh, that everyone and their mother has either seen or owned, Misery. With Kathy Bates, James Can, um, based on a Stephen uh, King novel, directed by Rob Reiner, comedian, well, a comedian most of his life, but directing a horror movie, he did a really damn good job. Um, that's all I could say about that. I mean, if you haven't seen this yet, I don't know what you're waiting on because Misery is just a damn good movie. Except for the leg scene, that kind of makes you cringe, but meh. this one is out of print and going for big bucks right now. It's going for hundreds of bucks to 300 bucks on Amazon, and that is The Mad Magician in 3D. I didn't buy it for this movie. The movie is good. I recommend it. Uh, it's a Vincent Price movie. Eva Gabor, um, Eva Gabor is actually also in this. But I didn't buy it for this. I bought it for two Three Stooges shorts that were originally done in 3D. And um, the two Three Stooges shorts that were done in was Pardon My Backfire and uh, Spooks. Originally done in 3D. Now that was it was originally released to their Three Stooges DVD box set. But it was with the red and green glasses. Or the blue and red glasses, I don't remember. And they stopped producing that short like that in those box sets. So if you get a newer box set, it's not in 3D. This was the only way to get them in 3D. And you have to have a 3D TV to actually watch it. So I know Joe Martinez is looking for this. So I, I just got to say, eat your heart out, man. You're going to find it one day. By mistake, not looking for it, you're going to find it. But look, it's right there. Joe Martinez. Check him out on um, Martinez Joe, I think, 74 at uh, YouTube, I think. Or just look up Joe Martinez. It'll come up. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Jimmy Stort movies. Jimmy Stort, Marino Hera. Uh... Cool, starring Fabian. It's popular at the time. He was a singer. Um, it was a, a movie about a vacation and all this crazy stuff happens to him. And, um, yeah. About his daughter da uh, dating, you know, Fabian and stuff. But it is uh, Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation. Great Jimmy Stewart movie. Twilight Time. This one isn't as expensive as out-of-print ones, but you can still find this, I think, on Twilight Time. 
Uh, might be 30 bucks still. But I got this one on sale at the time. And you can tell it's a re-release because it's got the blue, ca blue case. There you go. This one should have been right after Moonwalker, but it's not. And uh, this was only given to people that bought uh, 3D Blu-rays and 3D TVs. And that is Michael Jackson's This Is It. It's not all 3D. It's uh, only one part of 3D. Was the uh, thriller part that he was supposed to do live on a special show that he was going to do in Europe. But um, he died before it, and it never happened. But this is the closest thing you're going to get to that concert. So when it gets to that part of the of the movie, yeah, you have to. It'll, it'll kick in a 3D. Great artwork on here. You got back artwork. Yeah, or you can actually buy this separate by itself, but it won't be in 3D. It'll just be the movie. Um. <laughs> Over 10 minutes of 3D footage. Woo. But, uh, yeah, Michael Jackson's This Is It. Really good documentary. This one I got because here in the States, it's hard to find now. And it's also split with Dumb and Dumber 2. No, Dumb and Dumber and um, The Mask. So I got the UK version of The Mask. I think Alan got me this as well from Carmen's Ghost. And it's Jim Carrey. Cameron Diaz. Might be one of our earlier movies. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Who else is in there? Amy Asbach, which was uh, uh, John Ritter's wife at the time. Rest in peace, John Ritter. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, and introducing Cameron Diaz. The answer to my question, this was her first movie. And she's very beautiful in it. Um... This movie came out in 1994. Yeah. But this Blu-ray came out in 2016, I guess. So, yeah. Well worth getting. It's all regen. So don't worry about the... Will it play in my machine? This one is definitely out of print. I found it on eBay for a damn good price. It's technically a Christmas Story sequel... It's called My Summer Story. Not as good as, say, A Christmas Story, but it's got a great cast. It's got Charles Grodin as the father. It's got uh, Karen Culkin, one of the Culkins, and Mary Steam Virgin. And I think there is... Um, no, it doesn't list it, but... Uh, it's from 1994, 85 minutes. It has, um, actually, you s it's directed by Bob Clark. Rest in peace, Bob Clark. And he's the director of this movie, A Christmas Story. Uh, one of the Porkies, I think, the first one. And him and his son died in a uh, car accident. Um, don't know when it was. It must have been over 10 years ago, maybe. I don't know. Crack me below. But uh, he directed this movie. Didn't do as well. It has a same, has a same narrator um, as in Christmas Story. And uh, it is a summer story. And it's basically them going to this World's Fair in Chicago. I uh, don't know what year it was supposed to be. In the 50s sometimes. And... Um, the thing in the summer was the tops. They had to have special tops, and they bought it at the fair to fight other kids. They had just tops. So, yeah. That's a good movie if you can find it. Another movie that didn't make it to Kino yet, but probably will, and this is a touchstone picture. John Stockwell, Fisher Stevens again. Um, the rest of the names I don't recognize. Oh, and Dennis Hopper is in this. Um, My Science Project. Uh, never actually seen it. That's why I got it. This is a Mill Creek release. But this goes for big bucks online because it's so out of print. And, uh, 
like I said, Kino Lauber not putting it out yet, but they probably will give them time because they have the rights to Buena Vista stuff now to put them out. So, yeah. Last but not least, um, I actually categorized this because it was a uh, Merrimax triple feature. I actually only got it for Phenoms because, um, one of the movies that was talked about, to talk about Phenons, was, uh, I don't know if it was, um, one of the Kevin Smith movies, I don't know if it was Clerks, Clerks 2, Mulrose, I don't know which one it was, but it was Jalen Silent Bob talking about Phenons, and, um, they were talking about, um, Ben Affleck, and he's like, yeah, Ben Affleck did a good job in that movie because, you know, he's in their movies. He's in the Kevin Smith movies, so I guess they, you know, picked it out. Watched it. Phenomenal. Um, think it's supposed to have to do with Chicago because it was shot, parts of it was shot at the uh, Field Museum, if I'm not mistaken. It's not listed on here, but it is damn good movie you have to see it the other two didn't get to watch it darkness or venom but uh if you've seen those movies and they're they're watchable tell me about it down below that is all the m's damn it that was a long pile the next one that's probably going to be this long is the p's i think even longer so yeah um that's it for the m's if you have any comments or questions about anything I showed, feel free to leave them below. And of course, if you have any suggestions of any, any, of any M movies that I didn't show here, and they're not Disney, they're not IMAX movies, or for some reason, they're, they might be in my wife's collection. I don't know. She has a, a lot of M's, too, in her collection. We'll be doing a video of that. Uh, feel free to leave a recommendation down below. Okay, so this is Movie Edge signing off, and uh, next video is going to be the ends, and it won't be as long as this. So, yeah.